just for giggles, and then plus minus, plus minus, plus minus, plus minus. Anybody see a problem? We're mm -hmm. at the the frogs. Yes. Because yeah. there's, yeah, there's a, there's a non-insulated frogs, am I correct? That is correct. Okay, that's our, you got two problems. Yeah. Well, actually, it's only one problem. If, well, I cut the, yeah, it, it's really only one problem because uh, what happens is uh, okay. Initially, when we first got rid of the uh, push, button. push buttons, we just gap the floor. Right. We, we gap them right. Okay. So for a while. We were running with the frogs dead. Dead frog, right. Now, again, if they weren't gapped for that long a distance, it's longer than uh, you would on a switch because of where the feeds and the other support came in. But it was still a couple of inches. Most locomotives would span it with no problem. <clears throat> so what we did, ultimately, what happens... This is kind of an oddball situation for an auto reversa. What we did, we took the two frogs, basically connected them together. And then let's see here. I like the new one that was on one way. I want you know. Mm. <laughs> what? I like it better when there's only one way to deal with. <laughs> well, actually, it's for a simple way to do it, right? Yeah. It's kind of a funny situation because the auto reverse is generally two wires in to your main supply and two wires out to your control supply. For some reason or other, the auto originally had, you know, had. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's because the club has it now, right? Yeah. Okay. Behaved kind of funny when I connected just one wire to the frogs. So I ended up putting a little resistor across it. And that, that's the way it runs. But anyway, what happens here is when you get a train coming in here, for instance, if the frog is set right, there's a very momentary short, which is the way all auto reverses work. They sense a short, and they, they flip. The it's like a double pull, double throw reversing switch, although it's automated and it's quick. So what happens is you come in here. If this mismatches, it causes this to flip to match. And of course, because you get the same thing at the other end, you flip that one as well at the same time. Because there's no way that you're going to come in here and go out here. It's always you come in here and go out here, or come in here and go, you know. Right, yeah. There's no interchange. The only thing is, because the tracks, the rails are overlapped, there's a short circuit condition possible at the crossing point. So what happens here is with an auto reverser on it, you would come in here if the tracks or the rails weren't aligned here, the auto reverser would switch it as soon as the train went on. Uh, the first set of sense, sense of a short. For exactly. short. The first gaps. Now you would have both tracks oh, both gap tracks. there. Both so tracks. as soon as it, the engine passed that gap, yep. it would sense it's shorting and it would reverse it so it would go all around. It so it okay. continue around. Now, supposing you came in here and everything was okay, it wouldn't do anything. So you let it go. Yeah, so and then when you get around here, then it would say, then it would say, uh oh. There's my short. Yeah. But the interesting thing is it wouldn't change the direction out here. It would change the direction of the loop right under the train. But it happened so fast, 
and the polarity of the wiring on the DCC doesn't matter. Forward is still forward.